All right, so after the basic downstroke, uh, all the other strokes should maybe be a little bit easier. The first one I'll talk about is skewy, or basically a simple upstroke. So when I think about skewy, I think that it's mostly just uh, arm movement, particularly lowering our arm or adduction to raise our hand. So we typically perform skewy after a downstroke, right? So when we perform the downstroke, our forearm is uh, rotated inward, it's pronated inward. Um, our bocce is pointing towards the bottom of the neck and um, the tip is contacting the skin. And so from here, all we simply want to do is make sure that our deviation is sort of, uh, we have enough radial deviation to strike the string on our way up. And then we simply want to lower our arm to bring our hand and bocce up. Maintaining this uh, pronated forearm is going to help us have a nice smooth upstroke where the string is catching sort of the back of this, uh, this curve on this bocce here. It's going to give us a nice smooth and even sound. You might want to use supination, this outward uh, forearm rotation, to get a twangier sound. But I think that's more of a stylistic choice uh, than anything. So for Skui, we mostly just want to focus on this arm movement. And you'll notice that when players uh, just perform a downstroke, their elbow won't move that much because there isn't that much arm movement. But as soon as they start playing downstrokes in Skui, the elbow will start moving a lot more because we have that, um, that lowering of the arm being the primary mechanic for Skui.